So as we adopted democracy as a concept to do ourselves, as we all know in the modern era of the world, history, the democracy made the difference for the rest to improve the living standards of the people. After the 15th century or 16th century, the modern era started with the democracy in the West. And in the last few decades only, it ended in the eastern part of the world. So the salient principles that the democracy gave the Western world we do not have to reinvent the wheel to take those principles that made West the preeminent powers. We need to adopt those principles. I believe we have not adopted the successful principles that Govern the democracy in the West. The democracy is just not the elections and, and, the, and, and the rule. So we need to adopt the rule of law, the conflict of interest, and many such things we need to believe in and adopt to make democracy work. If anybody questions, why India is failing? Because the number of answers that we get is that India is not governing itself better. As the previous speakers said, the word is governance. It encompasses into several aspects of our ourselves. The conflicts that our culture or cultural barriers or beliefs put in the face of democracy and governance need to be overcome. That is the kind of effort we need to make to improve the governance to deliver the results of our efforts. That is how I look at it. Unless we address these cultural issues efficiently, we will not be able to achieve the progress we all desire. That is how I look at it. With these conceptual ideas, I have asked uh, my good friend Anil Ekur, the CII, to put a conference together to bring certain issues into focus in governance, a governance that is needed for, the, for the industry development, in education, in employing people, and at the same time, the encouraging the entrepreneurship in the new state of Tangana. I very much ask the Tangana government to be part of this conference. As several people agreed to be part of it, but because of certain logistic issues, uh, they could not be here again. But certainly, the summary and the gist from this kind of conferences would be presented to the powers of the tower so that they will get some ideas what the preeminent minds and the ideas are being floated for them to take advantage to for implementation. So that is our hope. <coughs> there are three elements that Telangana Development Forum would like to be involved as a partner with the Telangana government here. The one aspect of it is charity. Recently we adopted 
applying for adopted village. So we analyzed the yes, we asked them to adopt their own village and contribute for causes like improving their tanks or improving their schools type of thing. A person kind of activity and charitable interest we are looking for the state government to create a cell or another cell where such interests could be approached to conduit the kind of activities. And also the analysis had an enormous knowledge base. The knowledge base could be transferred kind of lectures in different colleges, institutions. And for that also a kind of mechanism needs to be evolved so that we are interested in the state government to take initiatives to develop such kind of initiatives to transfer. And the third aspect of it is the entrepreneurship, the Western technology transfers, entrepreneurship type of situations where the NOS could make an enormous difference in creating new jobs. I have asked Ms. Narsimha Reddy, who came from California. He works for the University of Merced. The why, if you think that the strength of United States are the universities. So how and why the universities are making an enormous difference in creation of technology and pressure in years, we need to understand what the universities do, how they get industry involved into the As we all know, I'm saying that the industry contributes heavily into the education sector, giving them funds, partnering the research, and at the same time directly benefiting from the research into the industry, incorporating into the industry. So that's kind of, such kind of partnerships that we need to be evolved in our institutions also to realize a better progress, a better opportunities for the future generation. So that is the kind of a structure we need to be evolved in the near future. We are hoping to see it in the near future. We, a few of you are not any different from any of you are. There are much brighter minds here than a few of us who when I left the country for opportunity. But only the difference is, we are seeing things back there, how their systems are working better. Why those governments are able to do a better services for them. And why the democracies are better functioning and improving the living standards in the West than in our country. So these are the kind of principles we need to adapt to make, to create a better opportunities, improve the living standards of our people, and better opportunities for our youth. Several years ago, along with CII, we did a, a seminar on vision for the new millennium. 
I remember saying in the seminar, at that time, things changed very much since then. Certainly opportunities are much better than what they were about 15 years ago. I said, a graduate coming from a college, at the time I was hoping to leave the country for better opportunities. And would like to see the graduate coming from institutions today. I should not be looking to leave the country for better opportunities, should be staying here for better opportunities. And that is the work cut out for the for new government. And that is the kind of a vision I would like to see from our leadership. And that is that kind of a, a commitment for all of you and us to work for, to make it a reality and a better future for our state. And thank you all. I thank very much uh, CII and my good friend Anil and all of you uh, for coming here to listen and be participate and at the same time uh, work as a team doing good things for all of us. Thanks again.